Welcome. We just saw that Nebula cosplay. That was really cool. I've seen two Nebulas so far, and the makeups have been completely intricate and incredible. And I'm like, how are you doing that yourselves? Right. It takes two people about four hours to do it to me. So I'm very impressed. Has that gotten a little easier over time? Yeah, it has actually. Yeah, it started off as about five hours on the first Guardians film, and now we have it down to about three hours. Um, and it's just more, much more streamlined. Now, we saw about maybe, you know, 15, 30 seconds of Thor and the Guardians interacting at the end of Endgame, you know, and we kind of, we kind of saw a little bit about what that interaction is going to be like. I know you can't say too much, but can you give us a general, what's the vibe between the Guardians and Thor? The vibe is really fun. I would say the vibe is is bonkers. You know, Taika, the director, has such a specific um, style and tone. It's completely bonkers. He has his own like brand of humor in a way. And so I think you're going to see the Guardians kind of plopped into that world and that sort of sense of humor. So you're going to see a more bonkers side of them. Um, and yeah, it, it's going to be funny to see them interacting with each other. And it feels like, though, you know, J between James and, and y'all and everything you've been doing on Guardians and everything Taika and, and the team have been doing on Thor, space is just sort of like a bonkers, wacky place sometimes. I think it is. Yeah. And the weird thing is I've spent probably like a lot, I've spent years in space now at this point, so it's becoming really normal to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's more bonkers on Earth. <laughs> Nebula is, is in some ways very much the straight man a lot of the time. Yeah. And, and you still manage to get those zingers in. Yeah, she, you know, she's a very serious, she takes herself really seriously. And in that, I kind of find a lot of comedy because there's nothing more funny than someone who's like reacting really seriously to something when everyone's kind of finding the humor in it. And so in that sense, I kind of find her funny, even though she's very much like on the straighter side of things. She's, she's an angry former sadist. She's so angry. She's an angry woman. Time. You know, <laughs> and then, you know, not to stifle that emotional expression because it's good for women to be angry sometimes. If she's angry, she should be angry. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us a little bit how, how things how things went on Guardians Three. Uh, is, was everything cool? I know you can't talk about that either, but can you can you just let us know a little bit about how it went and how you're feeling about it? Uh, oh, it was such an amazing experience. I loved working on that movie so much. I'm like about to burst. I loved it. Ah, it was so good. I just loved where the character went. I loved working with James again. I'm so glad that he was back with us. And it was like the family got reunited and we kind of, I think we've taken it to a whole new level this time. And you know, there might be maybe a feeling of closing out a chapter of sorts. And so it was a little bit bittersweet in a sense, but, um, but I think everybody is kind of like just upped it for this one. Did it feel kind of different? How was it for you to be, to have Nebula be a full-fledged part of the crew and just be able to kind of be on that side of things where you get to be a little bit more like wacky and chummy with the other characters. I was really excited to be like, am I a fully fledged guardian? Yes, <laughs> yes I think I am. And I was like, I did not think that was going to happen from the first time I played the character in the first film. So to get to actually really be part of the team and kind of, um, yeah, just feel a part of it in that way was an honor. And did you did you and Sean have to eat at a different lunch table until Guardians 3 and now you get to eat at the big lunch table with the cool kids? Is that how it worked? Okay, so not literally, but, but metaphorically, yes. <laughs> 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 well, we are glad to have you at the cool kids table now. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for talking with us, Karen. Thank you so much.